Let's look at Second Chronicles, which will go hand in hand. You know, we had felt that this year would be a year of, there would be great fights. And here it begins right now with Calcutta. Second Chronicles 20 is about the king Jehoshaphat. Now it came about after this, verse 1, that the sons of Moab and the sons of Ammon together with some of the Mennonites came to make war against Jehoshaphat. Then some came and said to Jehoshaphat, saying, A great multitude is coming against you from beyond the sea out of Aram, and behold, they are in Hazazon Tamar, that is, En Gedi. All right. Now, we all have problems. We all have, some have more than others, but we all have problems or troubles. We all have. Anybody here does not have any problems? If you raise your hand, I'd say you have a problem because <laughs> studies on marriage show that a successful marriage is not one without problems, but one with problems and differences, but successful in dealing with them, successful in resolving them. So a successful life and walk in the Lord is not one without problems, but one in which you successfully overcome the problems, not without conflict. A lot of believers want a life without conflict. It doesn't happen. That is not a successful life. That is not a successful walk. A successful walk in God is one with problems, and one which you overcome. Not without mistakes, not without fear, not without these things, but with God overcoming them. See, success is not about not having trouble. It's about successfully dealing with it. You got problems? Good. It's good. Then you have something to overcome. You have something to be successful about. How? I'm going to show you. This is called, wait a minute, this is called the Jehoshaphat Guide to Victory. And it's going to com composite, you know, put into a lot of things together that will deal with spiritual warfare, but not just that, with just, just living victoriously in the Lord. This year we're going to do a number of things on fighting, but that's what our walk is about. Being successful in God and overcoming your trouble and overcoming the problem. Some secrets and keys from Jehoshaphat. Now Jehoshaphat was a good king and there were very few in Israel who were good. He made some mistakes but all in all he was a good king. He did right. He reformed. He put God's people in place. He, he went against idolatry. He did as God said and then but one day the problems hit. All hell comes. And armies gather against him. His enemies unite and gather in an alliance to wipe him out. He was righteous, yet he had problems. Some believers think that you have problems, you have trouble, it means you're not in God's will. So the prosperity school of teachers say that pretty much. If you believe God, you will not have problems. As Job's counselors said the same thing to him. If you have problems, if you're being, you have all these things going wrong, there must be some sin in your life. Not so. You can have problems because of your sin, but you'll also have problems because of your righteousness. You'll also have problems because of your faith. You know, often when you have things come against you, it will be because you're doing right. You're doing things right. There's a difference about it. You know, the enemy will attack his own people. Those who are not living for God, he will still devour their lives. But you, he has a special, he, want, he specially wants to, to get you. But you are also specially protected. But all hell can come against you in ways that doesn't come against the world. But you also have all protection. Doesn't keep you from problems, but it keeps you from destruction. And it keeps you from failure. The world, the flesh and the devil, that's what we deal with. It will, God will use these things to grow you, to test you, to strengthen you, that you might overcome and you might become more than a conqueror. You can't do it without this. 
For God to show forth his power, he needs to have challenges. Red seas. How can he show salvation, which is the power of saving you, unless you have things to get saved out of? So we don't want those things. We, want, we don't want any opportunity for salvation to come through. We don't want to have to get saved out of anything. We just want everything to go smooth. Another thing, God gave Israel the promised land. But now the promised land is under attack. And so it says something, that God gives gifts, but you must guard them. God gives you a new life, but you must guard it. You must guard it and be wise and cherish the life that God's given you. It's not enough to win the victory. Guard the victory. Keep fighting. Stay vigilant. You know, you might as well deal with the fact you're going to have fights. But the good that's good in the Lord, and God will promise you victory. But you have to keep fighting, and you have to fight with victory. Verse 3. And Jehoshaphat was afraid. And he turned his attention to seek the Lord and proclaimed a fast through all Judah. Stop right there. Jehoshaphat was afraid. Well, there's a healthy way to react to things. You know, if you have a hitman outside your door, it's not unspiritual to be afraid. But don't stay in it. Some say, well, the people in the Bible didn't have fear, baloney. They were filled with fear from Abraham, Moses, Elijah, David, who said, I'm trembling, Isaiah, Peter, even Paul said, I was coming with much trembling and fear. It's not good. It's not good to stay in that. But God uses it. Some of you right now are afraid, of are, are worried about things. The Bible says, fear not, fear not. But in order to fear not, you have to have a fear to not fear. The point is not about not having any fear. You might have fear. It's what you do with it. So what did he do with it? He turned his attention and sought the Lord. Jehoshaphat used his problem to draw him closer to God. He used his fear to draw him closer to God. There's nothing like a problem to lead you closer to God. There's nothing like a problem to help your prayer life. Most of the time, it is the problems that increase our prayer life. You know? So, but if you go the wrong way, it, you can harden yourself against that. You fight and you harden yourself the wrong way. We must learn one of the secrets of overcoming in your life is to use your problem. Learn to use your problem. Learn to use it. Don't just react to your problem. Don't let your problem call the shots. Use your problem. Because God is already using your problem. He's, you, it's godly to use problems for good. So if God is using your problem for good, then you learn to use your problem for good. The first thing is to say, what, how can good come out of this? Because there's good that's going to come out of this. There are people who manipulate people. We're not to be like that, but we are to manipulate problems. Use your problem. Use it for good. How, what can I do to turn this? How can this help me go closer to God? What way can I glorify God with this problem? To find out how you can receive more of Jonathan's teachings, to receive special free gifts, or get in touch, Go to hopeoftheworld.org or call toll-free 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's hopeoftheworld.org or call 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's 1-800-937-4821. You can also get more at Jonathan Kahn's Facebook page or write us direct at Hope of the World, Box 1111, Lodi, New Jersey, 07644, USA.